Customs Fostering Sustainability for People, Prosperity and the Planet is the theme for International Customs Day 2020. The parking lot of the Civic Center in Belize City was the location for an all-day fair that put on display the various units of the Customs and Excise Department. Primary and high school students were provided with information on the functions of the department as well as clarity on misconceptions. We try to, based on the team and also looking at our modernization in, uh, initiatives, we try to promote that part of the department, the newer areas of the department and the traditional ones since we, our primary role was um, and still is revenue collection but we're evolving to trade facilitation and of course security becomes one of the main things. So. We have about six main sections of the department here and we also invited different agencies that we work along with and we perform agency duties for. Those partner agencies include the Bureau of Standards, the Departments of Fisheries and Environment, the Financial Intelligence Unit, Bell Trade, Climate Change as well as Atlantic Bank Limited. Tricia Sabrani says that there are many things that travelers take for granted when entering a country. The information fair provides an opportunity to educate attendees about the do's and don'ts when traveling or importing items. When coming in contact with customs, um, some of the activities and some of our responsibilities that we have, how we contribute to economic growth and development, securing the country, uh, food safety, food health, right, animal as well, plant, and so we perform a, a variety of response, uh, functions, we have big responsibilities. That's what they know customs for, either taking away somebody's good or charging person duty, right? But we, it goes beyond that. We now have newly ch um, created trade section and they're responsible for managing the different trade agreements that the country signs on and customs is responsible for enforcing the agreement. So we have to be able to apply it, making sure um, the proper claims, they are legitimate, they're um, those items qualify for the treatment that they're applying for and even sensitizing and engaging the public and uh, private sector. One of the units within the Customs and Excise Department that was recently established is the Customs Investigation Enforcement Unit. Enforcement Officer Ronald Sanchez says that there are many challenges because they have to deploy officers across the length and breadth of the country to address the porous borders. At the enforcement section, we're responsible to ensure that the um, unmanned areas of this country is being um, monitored by our presence now. What we often do, we conduct patrols in the, um, in the illegal areas, such as um, Botes and the other areas that the Belizean public are trying to utilize to get their product from across the border now. Um, we maintain presence in those areas, and as you know, the um, constant or the increase in the plane landings cause um, it, it, it heightens our it heightens our our it heightens our um, threat level in that area. So we have to um, step up our efforts in order to combat what is out there, you know, ahead of us. Manpower is much needed because um, from we are responsible for the entire length and breadth of this country, and I mean that's a huge area to cover. Our enforcement units are very small units, an upcoming unit, so we are trying to build as much as we can. But we try to do the best that we can with what we have. So um, it's very challenging, yes, but we try to do the best that we can. Dwayne Moody for News 5.